right, awesome. In this video, I'm going to share with you the big picture, the strategy that uh, we are running here on this website, Online Education Mastermind, and one that you can model and implement in your own business. So in this 10-slide presentation, I'm going to start with a brief explanation of the strategy, where I learned it from, and what is the ultimate goal of this uh, strategy. I'm going to talk about Facebook retargeting advertising because it's a main component of the strategy. I'm going to get into the goals of the strategy, types of offers that you may present in a sales funnel, just examples and we're going to talk about temperature traffic and then get into the schematics that'll give you a, a visual aid uh, to understanding the strategy. All right, let's talk about the strategy. It's designed to build relationships using paid traffic. The final goal of the strategy is to automate the lead and customer generation process and create a loyal community of raving fans for your business. Now, I didn't create this strategy. This is a strategy I learned from a digital marketer in their paid traffic mastery course. And uh, it's something that they use in their own business, digital marketer, and for all of their portfolio of businesses. So it's a proven strategy. Now the Facebook pixel is a script of code that makes sure that Facebook can accurately track the visitors and conversions to your site. Conversions being leads, sales, buyers. And the pixel allows us to create that code when somebody hits a, let's say a blog page, that code sends information to Facebook that sets up a, what is called a custom audience. And the custom audience are basically list of people you can serve ads to in their first in their Facebook news feed. So it's like a autoresponder, which is a follow-up mechanism. And the custom audiences were able to follow up and follow through even without an email address. Facebook retargeting then is the ability to serve ads in the news feed of your custom audiences. The goals of this strategy are to introduce yourself to your target market and get known, position yourself as an authority in your field, to pixel the traffic to your web page, to segment your audiences, to present appropriate offers to your target market and the, uh, at the appropriate time in your relationship with them, it's to create goodwill and to deliver value to your market target market. Now these are examples of types of offers that you may see in a sales funnel and you may have implemented these into your sales funnel. So at a, in a landing page where you're exchanging an email for something of value, that free piece of value might be a checklist, a cheat sheet, an ebook. And then next in your sales funnel you might have a tripwire. This is a, a low dollar item. It might even be a registration to a webinar, but it's to move, shift a, a lead into a buyer at a low price point, right? Lower resistance. Next, you might present them with a core offer after they purchase a tripwire. You offer them your core offer. And then eventually over time, you move your buyers to uh, hot buyers and even to larger items of, of price here like let's say you just have a, a live mastermind in your service uh, to your target market. Now if you met somebody at a party, let's say I, you met me at a party and it wouldn't be appropriate, you never met me before, to present to me the live mastermind offering after 10 seconds into our conversation. That's not appropriate, right? It's not the appropriate offer at the appropriate time in the relationship. So that's going to be a very important thing to remember here is presenting appropriate offers at the appropriate time in the re relationship. Now these free downloads, 
when you hit a landing page, a transaction is actually taking place. Not a monetary one, but a transaction is taking place where people are trusting and they want something of value that you have that they believe can provide a solution to a problem they have. Okay, that's offers. Now let's talk about temper traffic. Temp traffic temperature. Traffic, of course, is people you send to your content and offers. That might traffic might become or be the result of uh, setting up a Facebook ad. It can come from a YouTube video ad. It can come from an email that you send out to your list if you have one. So let's talk traffic temperature. So cold traffic are people who have never heard of you before. Warm people, <laughs> warm pa traffic, <laughs> warm people. Warm traffic are people who are familiar with you but haven't taken an action on your offer. And hot, of course, are people who are your buyers and repeat buyers. Okay, let's get into the schematic uh, now. I believe the next slide is that. And this is a basic uh, sales funnel and how most people in the online marketing space run their sales funnels. So in the sales funnel, we have a landing page. The landing page is where we're going to exchange, like say, a uh, cheat sheet or a checklist or even like a, a video that may be uh, presenting an item, a product, or a service. That is the landing page. This is the capture point. Now, when somebody, we're sending cold traffic, people that have never heard of us before, to a landing page, a capture page. When somebody comes here, if they say, yes, I like what you're offering me, I'm going to give you my email address, then they move to your list. Okay? And also, if they, they do opt in and take it, then they're sent to your sales page or whatever you're promising on the landing page that's what they see next if they give you their email address. And then once they're on your list, we have the follow-through with the autoresponder. We will send them emails. Okay, so this is basically a basic sales funnel. Send cold traffic to a landing page. In the landing page, either they're going to opt in, say, yes, I want what you're offering me, and they move to the, your list, and they move to your sales page. Okay, So what happens to all of the people that didn't opt into the list? What happens to them? Well, I'm going to explain to you what happens to them when we get to um, the next slide because we're going to be able to... I know what we're going to do on the next slide is I'm going to show you how we actually warm up the audience before they see this landing page. So traditionally, and I would call this more an older way, cold traffic to a landing page. Now we're going to send cold traffic to a content page, like a blog post, an article. So what we're going to do is we're going to warm up that audience. We're going to position ourselves as an authority. We're going to introduce ourselves first, and we're going to get known before we send them this landing page. Okay, let's let's move on to the next slide. I think it'll be I'll be able to explain it easier. Okay, so now we have a content page like a blog post. Now I'm going to send cold traffic to the content page to the blog post that positions me as an authority figure, positions you as an authority figure on a specific subject. Now we have a Facebook pixel on this blog page. So what happens is everybody that comes to this page that has their, this is key, that has their Facebook account open at the time of hitting this page will be registered and sent to a custom audience. Right? We're building a list without asking for an email address. That's one of the things on your content page. We're not asking for anything in return. We're just giving value. Remember, creating goodwill. 
pixeling the page, creating a custom audience that later we can serve this landing page in an ad to this custom audience. Now this custom audience is warmed up, the traffic is warmed up, now they're seeing the landing page. Yes, they're warm because they're, they got a chance to know us in our post, we delivered value to them, now they familiar with us. Now we present the landing page. The thing about the content page is we know what the content is. So the landing page that we serve them in their news feed is going to be relevant or related to the content that was here. So let's say they, they, um, this content was about cooking. So the landing page will have would be we're going to give away something that has to do with cooking. Might, it might be a recipe, for example. But you see how that would be related to the content on this content page. Okay, so let's, let's go through that again one more time. We're sending cold traffic to a content page, a blog post, to warm up the traffic, to position ourselves as a, an authority, to introduce ourselves, to get known. Because why? Because people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So this is the process of getting known and liked and warming. We're delivering value first. We're not asking for a dime yet. We're going to do that after they're warmed up. Okay, so on the next slide, what I'm going to show you is what happens to people that don't opt in here and go to the list. What happens is we create a custom audience of this landing page. Okay, let's, let me walk you through that. We have cold traffic hitting a content page, a blog post that we have a pixel on that creates a custom audience of people that went to this specific blog post. Let's say the blog post is about cooking. So our landing page is about recipes. We're going to give something away. Let's say that they come. the user hits the landing page now from the custom audience, and they say, yes, I want the recipe. They go to here. Okay? They go to the list. If they say yes, then they get the recipe here on the sales page. If they don't opt in, because we have a pixel on the landing page, they go into a custom audience of this landing page. And this landing page is a custom of audience of people that did not act on the recipe. They did not give us an email, and they did not say, yes, I want the recipe. So then what we do then is we serve an ad to this, these people, and guess what we serve them? We serve them the recipe, the opportunity to get the recipe again. Got it? So let's say that they, they say they over time, and we can serve this ad up to, let's say, eight times to this custom audience. This recipe, we're going to say, hey, you know, looks like time got in the way. You didn't take advantage of this recipe. We serve the recipe in an ad in their news feed. They take action, and guess what? They move to a custom audience of people that took the recipe. So what's next in your funnel? You would present that to these people that have acted on taking the recipe. So maybe that might be a, um, a dinner for two at uh, a very specific restaurant that you've selected for them. Whatever, you can see how that would, that would be a next thing perhaps in the, in the sales funnel. And then on this question mark, let's say this is a dinner for two offer. Let's say that people don't opt in or they say, you know, I don't want the dinner for two. Guess what? This page is pixeled and that the people that don't take advantage of the dinner for two go into a custom audience of people 
who didn't take advantage of the dinner for two. And what do we serve that custom audience? We serve them the offer again, the dinner for two. So you can see how it progresses on and on and on, all the way to the end of your, the last piece in your funnel, which could be a live mastermind, a $9,997 program. So that's how it works. You move people through your sales funnel using the pixel to create custom audiences. And then what's great about the custom audiences is that you know what they were interested in or what they didn't take action on and you serve them exactly that relevant content or that offer again to move them through the sales funnel. All right, so this is basically what I learned from Digital Marketer. Content, cold traffic to content page, warming up the traffic, presenting offers at the appropriate time, the appropriate offer in the appro at the appropriate time in the relationship. If they don't take action, they move into a custom audience of people that didn't take action, and then you serve them the same offer until they take action and you move them step by step through the process and at the same time having your list and following through with your autoresponder. So what I'm doing here is sending cold traffic to a content site that has multiple content pages. And in this example I'll use content page one as Facebook. So I have all videos about Facebook on content page one. I'm creating a custom audience of Facebook this page which is pixeled and then I'm going to serve them offers and messages relating to Facebook right so also let's choose another custom content page which is funnels all videos about the click funnels then I create a custom audience pixeled see I'm beginning to this is where the segmentation of my audience sits happens pixel on each of the different pages, creating segmented audiences for each that of these content pages that are going to get specific offers and messages relating to their interest. And so this strategy then becomes uh, optimized by running Facebook retargeting ads in each of these custom audiences moving the user through my sales funnel through your sales funnel everything becomes automated and this is how we're able to automate the process every step of the way when we're serving retargeting ads we're optimizing the ads and moving people through the sales funnel this is the big picture strategy I hope it made sense to you. Go back and uh, review it again. And you may have to listen to this a number of times. Just keep in mind the goals of this strategy again. It's to introduce yourself to your target market and get known. Position yourself as an authority figure in your field. Pixel the traffic. Segment the audience. Present appropriate offers to your target market at the appropriate time in your relationship with them. Create goodwill deliver value to your target market is a winning strategy. So go ahead and model this. Take the idea, implement it into your business, or if you like, uh, leverage what uh, we're doing here on Online Education Mastermind and implement the strategy with me. All right, cool. I'm glad we got through that one. Until uh, next time, aloha.